Welcome back everyone. It is day nine of my alternate day fasting routine. After eating just potatoes for one week, I tasted something else for the first time. Just some simple ground beef and onions, and it made me smile. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy to be eating different food. It feels so good. It is about 10.30, that is when I have broken my fast, because I didn't eat yesterday, just had a glass of wine, that was it. And so my goal is to eat today within an eight hour window. Let's see if I can do it. All right, it's time to dig in. I have corn salsa, avocado, ground beef with onions, nutritional yeast. I wouldn't say I went to break this fast with like the thing that I really wanted, even though I'm super stoked to eat this. It was more of like, What's going bad in my fridge? What do I need to eat first? I don't like throwing food away, but I mean, I'm not complaining about this. So it's currently 4.30 p.m. I just got up from a nap. That's why I'm a little bit on the puffy side at the moment. So I got a wonderful nap in, which I've been trying to get in for a while, but I just couldn't. I think it's because I cut back on coffee today, so I was actually able to take a nap, which is good. So it has been, Let's see, it's 4.30, it's been six hours since I had my first meal. That meal was approximately 900 calories, so I do wanna eat more today. Um, this is a moment where I might eat just after the eight hour window that I was hoping to get in for myself. Just because I'm not overwhelmingly hungry now, I still wanna eat more. I wanna uh, go for a bit of a walk, get some things done, and then eat afterwards, and it's probably gonna end up being after 6.30, so, I don't want to be crazy psycho and like, oh my God, I'm not getting it. You know, like it's, I've exercised a ton today above my BMR. My Apple watch is telling me I'm already at like 750 calories burned for the day. So um, that's just currently how I'm feeling. And like the whole thing is just sustainability, right? So like I'm trying to do something that works for me long term, and I'm just trying to be more relaxed and not so damn rigid. So I am just taking an evening stroll. We have one hour until the curfew time hits. Went to the grocery store. Uh, I got the, uh, the corn flour to try to make the arepas, which is one of my favorite dishes that I discovered here in Puerto Rico. It's not Puerto Rican though, it's more Venezuelan. Got some cabbage to make the cabbage salsa, cilantro, all that good stuff. So I was actually gonna eat before I went on this walk, but my roommate was using the kitchen, so I just wanted to give her some space and that I would just eat later on. So here's a sweet view, just chilling here, enjoying the view. Really happy to see some people here in this apartment complex outside enjoying the sunshine. Well, it's not really the sunshine because it's 6 p.m., but anyways, I'm really happy today with like how full I have been overall. And I think what I'm kind of thinking is that potatoes do have a lot of nutrients. And so you might not feel that intense hunger after coming off of just eating potatoes for a week versus just eating nothing. So, you know, I've also considered a routine where on my fasting days, I just eat potatoes because I know I'll be full and I'll be able to get through that day easily. Like, it'll be so flawless. I just... <laughs> Potatoes just don't sound as good as they used to anymore. That's the problem. Good morning on day 10 of my alternate day fasting routine. As you can see here, I just got out of the ocean. Just did about a 45 minute swim. So listen to this wild story. So yesterday I'm like on Instagram looking through like the favorites page and I see like an Iron Man photo and I'm like, hmm, you know, keep on challenging myself with these physical things. like. What, the, what exactly is an Ironman? So I look up, you know, 2.6 mile swim. What is it, 115-ish miles of uh, riding a bike and then a marathon 26.2 miles at the very end. I'm like, hmm, that sounds like one hell of a challenge. I'm like, well, you know, I'm gonna kind of like, not do a, like a training plan, but like, let me just go for a swim in the morning. So I'm out here in the ocean swimming, like we're not supposed to be on the ocean. Like what I'm doing right now is completely illegal. So I see another person swimming. I'm like, okay, awesome, I'm not alone. So I was going one direction and then I decided to just like follow this person. And I always try to go like super far away from people. But anyways, I started swimming and then he like started speaking to me in Spanish. And come to find out, he, I met a great friend in the ocean, the uh, only restaurant on the street that I live on. It's called Luigi's. Well, I met Luigi out here and 
this is what's crazy. He's like, he used to run marathons and did Ironmans and triathlons. And I'm just like, this is weird. This is crazy. Like there's literally no one in the ocean except me or him. I made a friend and he's like, yeah, we can swim. He's like, I have all the gear. I have the bike. You can borrow my bike. And then he, uh, he was like, I even have a scooter. I have two scooters. We can go scooter riding. I'm like, oh my God, I met a best friend. He's like in great shape. He's like 67. I always, um, I always connect well with people that are much older than me. So that was cool and weird. And just like how I literally thought about the Ironman yesterday, which is not something I think about frequently. And then I found someone who's like, Oh yeah, I used to do that. Like we can swim every day if you want to practice. I'm like, awesome, how cool is that? So today is considered a fasting day for me and I'm not really sure if I'm going to fast in terms of zero calorie. So basically I'm giving myself the option to have 500 calories or nothing. I think it's really going to depend on my physical activity today along with um, just my overall hunger levels. So if I do get hungry and I'm shooting at 500 calories, uh, Brussels sprouts, I think, is what I'm gonna end up having just because they're so low in calorie, they're so filling. Like, I'll play with probably like Brussels sprouts, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and avocado, mainly avocado because my avocados are going bad, so I need to eat them quickly. My friend asked me a great question after eating potatoes for one entire week straight. She's like, Mariah, are you gonna have potatoes this week? And I'm like, great question. The only reason why I'm gonna have potatoes is because I have a bunch cooked and I wanna eat them before they go bad or else probably not. Um, I like, I definitely don't enjoy sweet potatoes like I used to. Okay, so here is my end of the day update. I didn't get to get a shot of it, but I finished the day with 1.5 ounces of ground beef, five ounces of Brussels sprouts, and three ounces of avocado. And I also had four ounces of my corn salsa. And so I felt very satiated at the end of the day. Like I could have ultimately not even had that meal but it's gone to the point where I've I've restricted for so many days that like I just feel like the more I restrict the more my metabolism is gonna drop so I wanted to at least hit the a thousand mark so I completed that I finished the day total with 1156 calories protein 28% carbs 24 and fat 48 so with my Apple watch I love this thing by the way I love it so much. I don't know if it's accurate. I mean, I did work out a lot yesterday, but it's telling me that I burned 1,160 calories. So what I'm kind of understanding is that this is additional to my basal metabolic rate, my BMR. I also uh, exercised for 141 minutes and pretty much hit all my goals for the day. So like I said, I was completely satiated. Um, the only thing that the only thing was that I felt a bit bloated after the dinner and I don't know if it was the Brussels sprouts because everything I ate in the beginning of the day settled quite well. I don't know if it's just because my body wasn't used to having like more food because gosh was it what four consecutive days that I had like 500 calories? I was happy with that and overall a good day can't complain. I feel like the majority of what I ate was good stuff and I didn't crave sugar which was awesome. I do know that corn is a pretty terrible food. Like I said, my whole my whole thing is that I'm not trying to restrict foods like crazy. It's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to give myself what I want in moderation because I think that'll be the best thing over the long haul. Um, I was actually, but this is really an interesting story. I was listening to a podcast with Demi Lovato. She was talking about her disordered eating and what she mentioned was that I think she has like a health coach or someone that's like kind of helping her work through things and what they were telling her was like I think she likes Twinkies or something. So that, you know, her instructor was telling her like have a Twinkie before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner. Like eat Twinkies nonstop. And then Demi's like now I can't stand a Twinkie. Like the thought of one just disgusts me. And so I'm actually thinking about this approach. I mean, I did that with sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes aren't a bad food, but it took the novelty out of it. Like before I would stay away from sweet potatoes because they were high in carbs, but now it's like, okay, I can, I like moderation. Like I don't think I could have a ton of sweet potatoes anymore. And so I'm like, what if I did like three day stints of just like one food that I'm trying to like not really care about anymore. And I did that for like a consecutive period of time. Like, what if I did it with like chalupas from Taco Bell or like, like anything, you know what I mean? Like, I think what I like to, what I want to do if I do this in the future, and this is obviously crazy and I'm just getting way too creative, but what I did with the potatoes was I did a three day stint with just potatoes for three days and then I ate normal. And then I came back, I don't know, a few weeks later and I did a complete seven day. 
and I like that approach. I felt like it worked for me. So maybe I'll do that moving forward. I don't know, we'll see. I just, I just love a good experiment. What's up everyone? It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I got an air fryer, so I tried doing carrots in the air fryer and I loved them. I thought they were just delicious. So I'm going ahead and slicing up a bunch so I could have those already pre-sliced for another day. Um, I'm also having some friends over for lunch, so I'm making cauliflower fried rice. I have some onions going, some carrots and garlic going, and um, my meat of choice is going to be sausage. And so, yeah, looking forward to that. I also have a cabbage salsa ready as well. And I tried already the sliced carrots in the air fryer and they were so good. Um, I think like half an ounce of carrot is like five calories, therefore you could have mounds and mounds of these. Like they kind of remind me of like a sweet potato chip in a way. So I'm totally digging it, totally enjoying it. Today's a fasting day of course, but uh, clearly I'm doing a 500 calorie day. That's the goal at least. Yeah, I'm definitely having more of an appetite today than I've had. In the past few weeks I feel like my appetite slowly returning I'm glad it's not coming like all at once so that's good as well so my friends came over we had a lovely afternoon my fried rice turned out fire cauliflower fried rice oh my god it turned out so good so it was a really weird day because technically today was supposed to be a 500 calorie day I'm like how am I going to accomplish this with guests over guess what I did it and I even got to have a little bit of rosé I had the cauliflower fried rice I had veggies in there and sausage. It was so delicious. I put out dates and walnuts for dessert. Didn't touch those. So technically I still have a few calories left. I might put some carrots in the air fryer, but I did feel very, I did feel very bloated after eating and even a little bit of swelling and stiffness in my ankles. I'm guessing that was the rosé and the sugar in the rosé, but I'm not 100% sure. But I was just like, I, I was shocked and I still am that I could get as bloated as I am with just 500 calories, like I'm gassy too. So overall, solid day. I was like, shoot, I think I'm gonna totally go over 500 today and then tomorrow I'll do more of a fasting day. But hey, I pulled it out on my fasting day with 500 calories. Tomorrow is a normal eating day. I definitely felt my appetite coming back and I, I definitely was like wanting to eat more, but when I get distracted by talking, then I don't want to eat as much. Or when I just cook food in general, like the smelling, the chopping, the cooking, that totally suppresses my appetite. So that's all I have for you today. As always, go out there, create a life that you love. Ooh, also, my, my watch tells me that I have stood 13 hours today. Not 13 total, but like 13 separate hours. I've stood for at least a minute. 1,124 calories and 113 minutes of exercise. It was a very active day. Not as, well, I don't know. I feel like I burned like quite a few calories. I swam today, I walked today, and I think I might also finish off the day with a sauna. So that's all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a life that you love.